Okay, we're getting super deep into this stuff now. Uh, we've had a nice overview of how to get going, and we've dived into some of the features of the off world Live camera and 360 in general. Now we're going to get into some real troubleshooting stuff, um, starting with Sky. If Sky is giving you an issue, then here's the place to figure out how to fix that. So let's jump into it. Sky optimizations. Okay, so first things first, we've actually had an update recently to version 116, and I'm not getting any seams with volumetric cloud at all i used to get seams i used to get seams with this uh, and i've just been as if i do that i get sky seams like really really fast uh, so that's a demonstration of seams if you've not seen seams before but i'm guessing you're here because you're getting seams so what i'm going to do is go through some of the measures that i was taking when sky was giving me problems but this is pretty awesome i think this like this latest update i think you're fine with volumetric sky so now that we've updated i'm just going to go through some of these things that i found out and double check check whether they're necessary and if they're if i'm not getting seams i'm just going to try push it to its limit you know let's let's try and see how far we can get with rendering 360 in unreal it's looking really sick so far nevertheless i'll go through these uh these things i found as as workarounds if the sky is not working for you so we're going to that now and this kind of takes us into our first like key concept so say i spin around it gets really fast you can see you can see the clouds start to get a bit weird. That is down to uh, the fact that the clouds are moving. Uh, I'm told this isn't like exactly how it works, but you get a bit of a lag between the front face rendering and the other renders, the other faces rendering. If your sky is giving you seams, you might want to look at uh, using the old school sky sphere for Unreal. So instead of this kind of fancy volumetric cloud, um, you can instead just load in the old school sky sphere. So. Delete these. And you can do this by going settings, show plugin, show engine content, make sure that's there, and then go start content. Uh, oh, engine, and go BP underscore sky. And you got the BP sky sphere. I don't know why mine comes in red. I think I've meddled with it, but that will come in like regular blue for you. And because this is press f on this you can go outside the sphere and you can see that it's literally just a sphere and everything's inside it um, and with that same logic you could also just create a hdri so edit plugins hdri enable hdri backdrops restart that um, in the scene in your place actors you can then go hdri hdri backdrop and drag that in um, and this is essentially the same thing you press f on this see that we're inside a kind of dome shape and yeah we, you can look into hdri backdrops further but they're really useful for getting the you get the kind of ambient diffused lighting of the sky and the sea, scene all here so you know and because this is just an image this is going to be way easier to run this could run really nicely and you can get some really nice high res hdri backdrops uh, so that pretty much concludes the sky section of this next up let's just look at giving the camera some movement uh, and then with that we'll just have a nice moving image that we can we can check is working out um so i'll catch you in that next one we're going to movement next so cheers you're, you're jamming with the hottest disc jockey. 